Hi there, today we're learning more about methods. Uh, today we're going to learn about um, passing a value to a method. Uh, before we do that, there are two terms that you need to be aware of. The first is uh, arguments and the second is parameters. Um, an argument is the equivalent of a baseball that's uh, being thrown. Uh, whenever you pass a value to a method, it's kind of like you're throwing that method a baseball. You're throwing it some type of value, right? And then when you, you, uh, you have your method that's going to catch that value, uh, the parameter is sort of like the glove uh, that catches the baseball. It's uh, you know, the glove that catches the value that, um, that you're throwing it. So let's jump into our demo today. Uh, I've got a class here. It's called crow3 underscore 069 square this demo. And remember, every single um, Java program has to have a main method. That's what uh, the Java Virtual Machine looks for first. So let's go ahead and let's uh, let's run this. Uh, let's say uh, let's create our main method first. Let's do uh, public static void main string args, and I'm going to create my braces here. So keep in mind that everything in between these two braces is going to belong to our main method. All right, I'm going to print the uh, following. Okay, so um, we are going to pass argument, passing arguments to the square number method. So we're going to create a method here. It's going to be called square number. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to call that method. I'm going to say square number parentheses, close parentheses. Oh, Mr. Crow, Mr. Crow, Mr. Crow, uh, you got an error here. Well, that's true. We do have an error. Um, it's looking for this method, but we haven't created it yet. So uh, I want you to go outside of the main methods braces, and let's go ahead and let's create this square number method. Public static void square number parentheses. Now, what we'd like to do with this method is we'd like to be able to send this method a number, and then within this method, we'd like to uh, uh, calculate the square of that number. Uh, and remember, when we're talking about squares, uh, you know, the uh, square of 2 is 4, the square of 4 is 16, the square of 5 is 25. You get the idea. So how do we do this? Well, let's go ahead and let's put an argument in here. I'm going to type square number two. So we are going to pass the value of two to this method. Two is the argument. Whenever you declare a method in this method heading, you have to tell Java, hey look, this uh, this method is going to be expecting um, you know, a number, and you have to tell it what type of data type. So right here, I'm uh, sending it two, and two is going to be an integer. It doesn't have decimals, so it's not a double, it's an integer. So I have to declare a parameter in these parentheses right here. So I'm going to say int, and I could just call this x if I wanted to. So this would be my variable uh, right here. Now you can call this x, you can call it anything that you want, but I like to use the uh, naming convention int p and then you can call it whatever. I'm just call it, uh, I'm going to call it int p now. The int, uh, you know, says, hey, this is an integer. The p uh, stands for, hey, this is a parameter. And then the num right there just, uh, you know, can be anything that you want it to. But I like using this naming convention. So now this method here, square number, knows that it's going to receive an integer. So this is, uh, this parameter declaration right here is the equivalent of a glove that's going to catch uh, the baseball. Okay, all right. Let's go into square number here, and let's uh, create some code for this. So, we need to find the the, the square of whatever int p num is, and to do that, um, I'm going to uh, have to do a calculation. I'm going to have to create a formula. So, I need a variable to store our uh, our, our answer in. So, I'm going to say uh, int int answer. So, I just declared a variable, and this is uh, called a local variable when uh, it's a variable inside of a method. So this is a local variable. Okay, so I just declared int answer. Now I'm going to say int answer equals, and how do we find uh, the square of int p num? Easy, we just multiply it by itself. So we say int p num times int p num, and our answer will go into int answer, and then I'm going to display that to the user. I'm going to say system 
dot out dot print line, and I'm going to say um, let's do the square of int p num. I'm going to go down here to the next line is. Uh, int answer. So we're sending the square number, the value of 2. Uh, we're sending it the argument of 2. The parameter right here, int pnum, is going to catch it. And then uh, we are going to use int pnum right here when we're uh, calculating whatever int answer is. And I'm going to, I'm going to uh, right here, um, display the answer to the user. So let me go ahead and let me run this. And here we go. I will be passing values to two methods. First, I will pass values to the square number method. So the square, or I'm sorry, this should say of, the square of two is four. All right, so uh, notice if I, if I do the, the following in the main method, if I say system, got out print line, if I try to uh, print int answer, we're gonna get an error. The reason for this is because uh, the main method right here cannot see int answer because int answer belongs to the square number method. Um, so this is a local variable and it can only be seen uh, by the, the statements within square number. So just wanted to clarify that real quick. Let's go ahead and let's uh, call the square number method again and this time let's put 5 into it. And let's do Let's also do uh, 125. So the first time we sent 2 uh, to uh, value of 2 to square number, and so we have the square of 2 is 4. Um, right here I, uh, I'm sending 5 to uh, the square number method, and then I'm sending 125. So the square of 5 is 25, and the square of 125 is 15,625. All right, so let's go into the second part. We're going to create another method here. This time we're going to uh, pass an argument. to the cube number method. So I'm just going to copy this code right here. I'm going to put it right here. First uh, now, I will pass values to the cube number method. I'm just going to change this to cube cube number cube number and notice uh, I'm getting error here because I have not created cube number yet so I'm just going to go down here. I'm going to copy this code. I'm going to paste it. So I want to create another method and this time I want to be able to cube a number. Obviously, you know, the cube of 3 is 27. 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. Um, the cube of 5 would be, you know, 125. 5 times 5 times 5. So all I'm going to do here is I'm going to change this square to the name cube. And uh, I can have the same parameter name. And in here, I'm just going to add another times int p num. And here I'm going to say the cube of int p num is an answer. So now, if I run the following code, we should see the both um, the uh, square number methods and the cube number methods. So here we go. First, I'll pass values to the square number method. We do all this stuff right here. Now I'll pass values to the cube number method, and it does all this. It finds the cube of two, cube of five, and the cube of 125. So keep in mind that when we're working with uh, you know, Java, pretty much, you know, we're more or less dealing with methods and variables all the time. Either something's more or less going to be, you know, a, a variable or a method. For example, print line, that's a method. And notice that we're sending print line a value. We're sending it a string value that the print line method takes and then it prints to the screen. So just a few things to think about. Anyways, uh, today we uh, worked with methods, we worked with passing a value, and uh, we learned about arguments and we also learned about parameters. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you next time.